Hey there guys, what's going on here? It is John, Jake the Metal 123 here. Today we're going to be talking about the new Gunner record that just came out. So yeah, the album is called Wanna. So you have Gunner the artist and then the album called Wanna. Kind of confusing, not really, but <laughs> no, I'm just playing, man. Um, this record is actually pretty, pretty chill for the most part. Um, you know, a, a lot of, a lot of cool songs on here, but, um, for the most part, we have Young Thug coming on here, Lil Baby, Roddy Rich, Travis Scott, um, Young Thug to, to end it off again, you know, with another feature, you know, plenty of features on this one, and, uh, you know, I, I went into this one, I, I never really reviewed a, a Gunna record, um, I, I've heard him a few times before, and, you know, he seemed to be pretty decent, and, uh, I was like, wow, you know, it's midnight, I'm like, let me, let me jam this out a few times, and, uh, you know, jamming this out, I've come to the conclusion of, of a few things here. Um, there, there's a few good songs on here, but there, there's also a lot of filler. There, there's also a lot of filler on this record. And, it, you know, it, it kind of just, for some reason, man, I, I just, I can't get, I can't get on the mumble rap train. Like, I, I just can't, it's just, it just bores the crap out of me. Like, for instance, like the song Addies, um, it's also got a feature with Nietzsche. And it's just like once you've heard the first like 30 seconds of the song, you've already heard the whole entire song. It's just the same thing on on repeat. It's the same lyrics. It's the same beat. It's literally the same exact thing after 30 seconds. And it's just like, all right, Gunna. All right, Nietzsche. I, I saw what you did there. Like you just you just did a whole repeat of the whole entire song after 30 seconds. OK, OK, I see you. Same lyrics, same everything. So it's like, you know, it's like stuff like that. Like, you really about to make me go to sleep here, man. Like, come on. Don't make me go to sleep. But on the other hand, there there's some other other good songs on here. Like, I really did like Dollars um, on My Head. I thought that was a, a decent song. All right. I thought that one was pretty cool. Like, I started like, you know, I don't know. I just started, you know, I started feeling that song. It was dope. Um, another one that I really did like was, um, Skybox. I thought Skybox was pretty cool. Um, has a really cool vibe to it. Um, the instrumental, whoever produced that is, is dope. Um, there's way too many producers to freaking, <laughs> to even mention on this whole record. There's so many hands were on this record, so I just, I'm not even gonna go there when it comes to producers, but. Um, another one that was pretty cool was the, uh, Travis Scott, um, Top 4 song, which I thought was pretty decent. That one was really, really cool. You know, Travis Scott has that, like, kind of, he has that effect on his voice. You know, obviously, that's not his real voice. He puts a, a sound a sound effect on it, and it has that little effect on it. I, I don't know how to, print, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just got that Travis, that Travis Scott feature on it, and, it, and it's, it's pretty cool. I dig it, but, um, overall, on the over, you know, the overall scheme of things here, I just found it to be kind of just, the, the beats weren't very high tempo, they kind of just at a slow mid-tempo the whole time they were kind of slow <clears throat> but uh overall it wasn't a bad record though it, it was average but yeah the whole mumble rap man I'm, I'm i cannot wait for this stuff to go away man <laughs> but yeah it was it was a lot of mumble rap um and it's just like wow I'm, i can't do it can't do it but i dig the album cover the album cover is kind of like the whole theology type thing where the dude's got like four arms and four legs and the whole theology symbols all around it's it's pretty cool pretty cool i i dig it but uh overall i think the lyrics were kind of you know they they were average you know nothing you know nothing groundbreaking nothing new like i said there's no there's nothing groundbreaking here nothing new um it's just it's it's the same stuff that you that you've heard on the on rap caviar for the past five years you know, there's nothing groundbreaking here. It's the same beats from the same producers, from the same artists. You know, it, it, it's just the same stuff. You know, this is no NWA straight out of Compton where it's going to blow your mind. You know, this is no Eminem, you know, where you're going to be like, holy crap, he just said that? Nah, this is just your same all, you know. I'm going to shoot this, I'm going to shoot that. I'm going to have sex with this, I'm going to have sex with that. It's just the same old stuff. Repetitive, boring, mumble rap. But overall, you know, I, I want to give the man a little bit of credit where credit's due. 
you know, he he did have some pretty cool, pretty cool lyrics every now and then, and the beats weren't all that bad. But uh, yeah, overall, eh. I don't I don't think the replay value is going to do really well on this one, especially in a year from now. I don't think no one's going to be jamming this a year from now. I really don't think the it's going to age well. I really don't see people jamming this in, in the next five to ten years. I just, I don't see it. I see people jamming this one, two times. It'll be hot for about a month or two, and then it's going to go away. No one will ever talk about this record again. That's pretty much how this one's going to go, unfortunately. But, you know... Like I said, that's just how the rap game is. You know, you're hot for one minute and then, you know, it's time to move on. But anyways, um, I, I'm going to rate this one at, at about a 5 out of 10. Um, 5 out of 10 is what it deserves. Like I said, the some of the instrumentals are cool. Some of the, the features are cool. The features definitely help the album. They don't really hurt them, which is why I'm giving it a 5. But uh, overall, I, I definitely think it could have been a little bit better. You know, it's really hard to understand him at times just because he mumbles so much. And it's just like, come on, Gunna. Like, I, I know you got it. Like, I, I know you're better than this, man. But, hey, it is what it is. That's, you know, that's the culture that we live in, especially in the rap culture. They just love to mumble. And it's just like, I don't, I don't get it. I just, I don't. But, anyways, we're going to move on from it. I don't think, um, would I buy this? Would I buy the physical copy? No, probably not, no, but, you know, hey, at least stream it, support the guy, you know, maybe one day he'll put out something decent, I haven't heard his other tracks, I haven't heard his previous records, but maybe one day I will review him, you never know, maybe, so, alright guys, well, that's my thoughts on Wanna by Gunna, <laughs> I still can't get over that, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's just my whole thoughts on it. Let me know what you guys think down below, and um, I'll definitely see you guys later. Have a good one, deuces.